Hello, Internet. How y'all's doing? It's Alex R. Unfight Games one more time. This time we're going to play a completely different game that we don't normally play. Uh, this is one of my favorites, and I wanted to share it with you. This is X-Men Mutant Apocalypse for the Super Nintendo, which I happen to have on my SNES Classic. I was very lucky. My SNES Classic seems to have some more games on it. Don't know why. But uh, this is... If you don't happen to know... I love the X-Men. And particularly, I really loved the X-Men in the 90s. I was, you know, I was born in the early 80s, and this is kind of, this is my jam, right? Like, man, that early 90s X-Men stuff with, like, you know, the Jim Lee comics, and uh, Andy Kubert drew a lot of it, and, you know, I really loved the, I especially loved Wolverine uh, at the time. But I think X-Men is, like, I mean, you know, so much been said about this. It's, it's... It's uh, politically relevant uh, these days, especially. So, in this game, uh, you know you're the X-Men, and you gotta you gotta rescue the mutants who've been imprisoned uh, by a country that's kind of you know militaristic and bigoted, and uh, you know they're they're jailing mutants, and uh, you gotta get in there. So. Uh, salient but this you know this I think is one of my very favorite X-Men games of all time I've, I've played quite a few but I think this is the one that really captures the spirit of what's going on here so Professor X is gonna summon us and we're gonna we gotta get in on the island of Genosha discern the location of the captured mutants. How this works, uh... Guarded heavily by Genosian guards and mutant hunting sentinels. So this game is kind of like a, uh... Let's just get in there. Kind of like a Mega Man game, in that, uh... You get to pick... Uh, which stage you go to at first. But it's, you know, it's like a kind of a 2D platformer beat-em-up. This is my favorite Wolverine in video games at all, right? So this game, you've got two buttons, but there's like Street Fighter motions. So that's like a, a dash dash punch, it's like forward forward punch. And he's got this string that he does, uh, if you just mash. And he's got a dive kick, or a dive, uh, and then, whoops. And he's got a Shoryu, which I'll show you in a second. But this dive kick is really, really useful. Uh, guys down. Okay, so here's our Shoryu. And you can link it. You can go, like, uh, from your string into... Alright. I love this music, too. This is, like, the feeling of what, of what Wolverine means, right? You know, he's breaking into this military facility, all these guys are like panicking, you know, alarms are going off everywhere, and it's like, oh my god, it's Wolverine, here he comes. He's gonna destroy everything and you can't stop him. I think you can get behind this guy. Oh, okay. It's okay, we gotta get out of the way. Oh. Alright, we got him. Nice. On these intro stages, the mid-bosses are often the hardest thing. Dun, dun, dun. You can get over there to the right, but I'm going to skip it because it's hard and you can fall if you mess it up. Okay, this guy, we got a reach advantage on him because we got claws. He's very buff. It's actually a little bit dangerous to fight him straight up. We're almost at the end of this level here, right? All we gotta do is kill the sentinel. We gotta use our kind of beat em up skills of managing a crowd. Oh, got hit. No, not good. Uh, 
This should not be too much of a problem. Just one more hit. Yeah. Alright. So that's nice. That's, uh... That was, that was pretty okay. God, I love that version of Wolverine. It's so good. So good. Okay, I'm gonna do... Uh, who do we want to do next? Let's do Psylocke. Um, I like this level a lot, too. Music is really good. I love the animations. She's got like a kind of a cool power walk going on here. She, like, look at how tiny her head is, though. It's just like, it's a good walk animation. So, a common theme on this game is that if you're like up in the air. Oh, yeah. Okay, is there something up there? There's a power up up there. Let's see if we can get it. Gotta aim it right. There we go. She's got a psychic knife or whatever she calls that. That's her Shoryu. And and I say Shoryu and I mean it. Like it's the it's that motion. There's Street Fighter motions in this, so this is a Hadouken. And then that's her dash attack, so forward forward attack. And then the the knee is a, a dragon punch motion. And that platform falls. The second power up. There might be a third one in this level, I'm not sure. There is. Let's see if I can get it. So you can spend a lot of time in the air on this fight if you time it right. Oh. Her sweep is pretty good too. Oh god, okay. Oh wow, is that invincible? I went right through that bullet. I didn't plan that, that was just a happy accident. We don't need that power up yet, actually. This fight, this is the toughest fight, actually, in the level. Let's see if I can get behind this guy. I think that helps. Is it worth it standing here if he's going to hit me with that thing? Might be, actually. Let's see if I can... Oh, God. Just hit him one more time, huh? All right. I think there's a power up over here. Is that a life up? I hope we don't need it. Okay, power up, good. Okay, both these guys on the same side. Are they dead? They're dead. You might think that psychic knife is not a super good move, but uh... Oh, and this is it, this is it, the last fight. This isn't even hard. So this guy doesn't have an anti-air, basically, so if we can just stay in the air. Uh, we're pretty good. You have to come down eventually. I think we're still gonna win this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Easy pants. That was easy pants for the girl with no pants. Okay, what do you do next? What do you do next? Um. Let's do... Beast is really interesting. You know what? I'm going to do Cyclops. Despite the character of Cyclops, this level is kind of interesting. My goal here, I think I can... So that's actually a quarter circle down motion. Quarter circle down attack. It's a pretty good attack. He's got a standing move too. And you can do it from the air. Uh, I think. 
Yeah, you can, absolutely. So, we're walking, we're exploding things, I didn't get hit yet. Oh, wow. That... Punch this guy, the power-ups up here. Oh, missed it. This jump is a little hard. You gotta... There we go. Okay, this is the interesting part of the level. Oh, screwed it up. Uh... Okay. Right. And then... Got oh no, mistimed it. Fuck. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Okay, here he comes again. Oh no, mistimed it! No good, okay. There we go, nice. Just wait, that's a hard one. Got him, nice. Power ups, and shoot this guy, shoot this guy. They're not good at hitting you if you're ducking. Their military training did not teach them <laughs> how to deal with a crouching opponent. Okay, this guy. Right. And then power-ups on the left. Yep. Right. I played this played this game a few times. Oh. oh knife guy. Knife guy. Stand up. You actually don't have to kill these guys, you can just run. I'm gonna kill them anyway. Oh, you want some? This level's almost over. Oh, oh he jumped right into it. And then there's uh, this train here in a second. He's got a slide. Let's Optic Blast! Optic Blast! Alright. Here we go. So we just gotta destroy this train. This will take, like, three blasts. Alright, and that's it. Mission complete. Yeah! Alright. Uh... Beast? Beast is fun. His mechanics are really interesting. He's got, uh... He can walk on the ceiling, which is neat. And that's, like... Most of what you do. He's got a shoulder attack. But the really critical move here is bouncing on people's heads. He can kind of Mario people. It's kind of like Psylocke, I guess. And his crouching punch is really good. That is a little bit dangerous because you bounce off. But you want to spend a lot of time on the ceiling. There might be more efficient ways to oh yeah, that's see that's dangerous, right? Because I he got me on the on the bounce back. I should be spending more time on the ceiling here. Huh? Oh. Like, his attack string is not super good because you end up uh, bouncing off. Oh, got hit. Not good. I was invincible. Can I kill it before? Yeah, okay, before he gets a shot off. That's good. Uh, 
do we go now? Oh. We jump right onto the bomb. Nice. I think we just go up. Oh, that's nice. Can I get that? Let's get that. Very nice. If you get enough of those, you get an extra life. Uh, can't go any further up. All right. Just drop a little bit. I would like a power up. Uh, oh, crap. That's no good. Fell a long way. These guys are pretty dangerous, really. They hit really hard and they take a lot of hits before they die. Look at all the active frames. Is he done yet? No. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Power up. We needed that. The uh, end boss fight on this one is really easy. And I think we're getting close to it. Okay. Just gotta break this wall. And this is it, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's three of these guys, and we just gotta bounce on their heads. Alright, one. Got behind him. He also has no anti-air, right? And third one. Oh, they can turn around though, that's interesting. Okay, mission complete. All right, one to go, one to go. Um, man, I have really vivid memories of playing this game. So I actually have this game uh, on a cartridge. Uh, and I had it when I was a kid, and I have really vivid memories of uh, learning to play Beast. Uh, I was, I remember sitting at my mom's house in, uh, I don't know, it would have been, you know, 1994 or 95 or so. And uh, I was listening to, uh, you remember that song, White Town, uh, Your Woman, with like the, the like really repetitive trumpet part, like do 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 do. And uh, I remember really vividly playing the Beast level, uh, listening to that song. That has basically nothing to do with uh, with you, but it's it's uh, something to do with me. And something to do with 1994. So Gambit has a bunch of moves. He's got a... His string is actually pretty good. Um, actually, all of his moves are really good. He's got... Um... So Ford Ford attack is uh, one card. And QCF attack is three cards, which is nice. And then he's got an up card. thought I would land on that platform. Let's just give these guys some cards. Uh, and he's got up and attack, and that's a, that's a spin kick. Kind of like a, I don't know what you call that, a wheel kick. Destroy this little robot here. Oh, you hit me, rude. So. Oh, but he can't. He can't jump and throw cards. How inconvenient. Alright, we got this though. There we go. Nice. Uh. 
This is actually a little dangerous, right? Because you've got this platforming section, and you can't, you know, accidentally fling yourself off the edge. That was a little close. Okay, nice. <laughs> a little bit hair-raising. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to try for that. And then over here, we're going to utilize the uh, top mutant strategy of stand on the edge of the barrel and crouch. <laughs> That's his mutant power, right? Is uh. Got hit. I shouldn't have broken that barrel yet. I might need it later. These guys are tougher, I think. They don't know how to deal with mutants who crouch. Or who jump. It's very, very unfortunate. Oh, we got hit. Kinetic card. Oh, these dudes. It's a little bit scary, huh? We want them both on the same side. That's so much hit stun. Oh god, we're gonna die. No, we're good. Yeah, that knife does so much hit stun. You could, like, easily get killed if those guys tag team you. Alright, so this is the last bit. So we're gonna fight this uh, this helicopter thing here, and we just have to not get zapped, which is straightforward. Oh. It's a up up attack to throw the card up. Gonna wait for it to shoot and then whiff punish. Aha! We punish the whiff! Right. And we just have to get this guy and then. Alright. Mission complete. Alright, internet. I'm gonna call, and this is our pass, so you can. You know. Obviously, if you're emulating, you can, uh, you know, save just by having a save state, but this is the password that we're going to use to jump back to this state later. Uh, but yeah, man, internet, I love this game so much. And uh, I think this is a really good interpretation of, uh, of what it meant, what X-Men meant, you know, in like 1994. Um, I, I really enjoy it. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this trip down memory lane with me, and I'm going to play some more of this game, I think, once I learn to beat these subsequent levels. Uh, I've beaten some of the levels before, but I can't do it, like, smoothly. Uh, and I've actually never beaten this game. Uh, but I think I will. I think I'll learn to beat this game, and I'll probably make videos about it. Uh, and I hope you'll come along with me on that journey. Uh, I'll just show you what it looks like next. On the subsequent levels, there's only one level. But uh, you gotta pick which uh, which X Men member you use to uh, to do it. But that'll be another video. So, uh, internet, thank you so much for coming along with me. This has been uh, Alex R on Fight Games, and uh, you know, have fun and uh, hope you're doing well. All right, see ya. Bye.